Yes. She's going to leave comments on there. She can stay in touch with her. Nope, nope, I'm gonna pack it up. Where? He's the owner? Oh, is that what he said? Okay. I can ask him. You can get him on camera and ask him. He said we have to pack it up. Oh, we're gonna keep teaching, man. We're gonna yeah. keep figuring this word out. Okay. First of all, I'm giving all prayers to Abba Nawa, your Halibah, Shimon Hashiach, your Shai. Got a bunch of strong uh, brothers out here teaching this word, man. Y'all heard some powerful speakers out here. We're going to bring this word out, exhort the word of your Halibah, Shimon Hashiach. And if you don't like it, so what? Nevertheless, thy will be done, right? We all died Say that one more time for the camera. We all died This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, and verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Who does it? I, the, the Lord, Lord, do all these things. So even though we see these. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So, who is the most wickedest people, most wicked nation on this planet? Go ahead and say. All of us. I would say all of us. Well, <laughs> no, uh, well the, since the scripture just said that the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, so who is in control right. of this earth right now? Right. Okay, who's running the government? There you go. <laughs> what nation Come on, of bro. people? Uh, Don't be scared to say it. What nation Don't of people? Don't be scared people? to say it. <laughs> uh, someone that's not on scared to say it. Hey, right. Right, right. Can I add something to that real quick, King? Oh, if you don't mind, King. Go oh, ahead. Right. Hey, sister, check this out. United States of America, they have the, the biggest so military. They have 832 garrisons in the world today. That's 832 known military bases. The next people to have the next is Russia with three bases in their own region. China coming third with a couple bases in their own region. America runs this whole earth. We put sanctions on Russia, sanctions on China. We put things on North Korea. We have them all on lockdown because the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. Read that from the top if you still have that king. This is Job chapter nine, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges there. Covered, covered the faces of the judges. Does anybody got that picture of mine, the Caesar Borgia with the horns I'll on? I'll take her right to it. Well, look at this carefully, sister. That's what this with. You know why he got horns on him? I'm considering him to be a devil. Right. And what does devil mean? Deceiver. Deceiver. Somebody get uh, Re uh, Revelations uh, 114. Come, come. So let me let me show you the, the, who that picture is. Does anybody know who that picture is right there? Caesar Borgia. Who? Who, whose son is that? The Pope. Six Pope of Rome's son. Break it down, kid. Look, they, they painted that picture and they, they covered the faces of the, the, the one and only true judge, Yahweh Christ. Right. Christ. Who we, you know, ignorantly call Jesus Christ. His name is the Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So, somebody bring that out from the top. Revelation 1 14. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Stop. What does that guy's hair look like? Look like a long haired goat or dog, right? Read. As white as snow. As white as what? As white as snow. So that brother had gray hair. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes don't look like no flame of fire. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Sister, if I take my shoes off, I hope they ain't purple or green. They better be the same color as my, my body. Read that from the, uh, uh, read that again. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Oh. You take fine brass. What is brass? Almost the color of a penny. And if you burn it, what happens to it? It turns black. It's burnt. It's burnt. 
So that man on that picture right there, they covered the faces of the judges. And, and not only that, but they covered the ultimate judge. Right. right. The ultimate judge. Three. And, and his voice as the sound of many waters. He wasn't, look, they got Jesus, that, that white boy on that picture right there talking like, I love you. Come into my... No. It is the voice of what? And his voice as the sound of many waters. And what does that what does that mean? The voice of many waters. Have you been around a lot of waters? It's power. It's real loud. Right? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Now, now, now. Come in here, my love. Come in here, my words. You sound like Tito Jackson. Look, thank you. Look, look. So they they that's not that's not our that's not our key. That's not our key. We got something to support you too, King. You know how the ox said that the word was handed over to the wicked, right? So when we were asking, who's the wicked? Who's the wicked? The Bible's gonna tell us who the border of wicked is. Now, oh. now the border means that's as far as wicked's allowed to go. So these people take wicked to the length, to the farthest region. Go ahead, King. John, this is the book of Malachi chapter one, verse four. Whereas Edom says, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. See, the Lord says, you think you're going to do a thing, and I'll even allow you to do it, but then I'll tear it down, because you are the wicked. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. One more time. And they shall call them the, the border, border of, of wickedness. wickedness. Because the Most High has created good and evil. Somebody give me Isaiah 45, 7, please. Isaiah yeah. 45, 7. Come on, that up. Come. And the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. You hear that? Hatred. I can touch that. Huh? Go ahead, touch that. Let them know about what indignation forever means. What that means is that the Most High has created something in the world to chastise his kids, right? And because he did that, they went further in their uh, uh, affliction on us, right? But Yahweh knows the beginning from the end, okay? There's nobody sneaking around back or you know or doing anything outside of him you got that king yeah exactly sis. and see that's why you have a peace that's why you have a peace about you because when all this goes down we know that he sees it and he knows and if he wants to tuck us safely he can do that you ready king isaiah 45 7 okay just like a gun you sound like a gun right why because this is powerful this is the book of isaiah chapter 45 and verse 7 I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Who does it? I, the, the Lord, Lord, do all these things. So even though we see these people doing these wicked things, we know the Most High is allowing that or setting that up so that we can say, you know what? These wicked people, they're here because we're not keeping your commandments. So we're going to turn from our wicked ways, come back to the commandments in our kingdom activity wake up our sisters and brethren and we're going to get the kingdom done uh, go ahead this is proverbs chapter 16 verse 4 the lord has made all things for himself yea even the wicked for the day of evil Hey, the day of evil has come and hit the shores of America when the colonizers came, snatched the indigenous, right? Took their land, gave them smallpox, raped them, do this. We're all a little lighter shade than we normally were because they don't land through us. You see what I'm saying? But here's the thing. That wasn't enough wickedness. They're the border of wickedness. They had to take it one more. Now they got to go grab our brothers, the Judites, the Benjamins, the Levites, the what people call the so-called Negroes, and bring them over here. And now we're pressed together. Somebody give us a press together in Jeremiah, please. And the thing is, is this is the way the Lord designed it. You know why? Because in the time of our captivity, we'll wake up, join together. Look at us brothers together. You're with you, you heard that, sis? And then here's the thing. You ain't scared of this word. Matter of fact, when this word comes out, you're like, that's right. That's what it should be. God? Huh? All right. All praises for that. Who got that, Jeremiah? This is the design for us to come together and be oppressed together. You got it? All right. Bring it out. Guys, this, this, is, the, this is my little son right here. <laughs> this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse 33. Bring it out. 
Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith who? The Lord of hosts. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Were oppressed together, and that's the truth. You go into the prison system, you're going to see the Mexicans and the so-called blacks all up in there together, right? More than the southern kingdom. Con, con. And all that took them captive held them fast. They refuse to let them go. Hey, that you know how serious that is? Now, they're not going to let you travel without a COVID ID, you know, without a vaccine with this. So they're holding us fast. If we're trying to go, let's say we want to get up out of here, right? They're going to be like, where's your ID? Where's this? Where's that? They're holding us fast. Let's say we want to come up, then they're going to tax us. So whatever they're doing, uh, the Lord is allowing, as we read in Isaiah 45, 7, and as the king said, that he creates uh, this wicked for the day of evil. So we want to be under his wing. You know, we want to be protected. You got something, King? Yeah. Uh, king over there got something? Or, yeah, he got something. Okay. Oh, you got questions, sis? Yeah, I want to say something. Um, so there's this thing that I wanted to do. Um, I'm a true believer of having fresh fruits and vegetables. And I want to build a community garden in my area in Rancho. And I was like, it should all be for free. It can stop obesity. It can stop unhealthiness. It can stop. And it's like, why should we have the taxes? The homeless people should get to eat healthy, just like anybody else. So oh, praise I want to come. I want to build a community where all fruits and vegetables are free. Well, sis, that flyer that you have there, that's our strong brother Azan right there. You see the one right there with the glasses on? So he's giving you that, and you can reach out. And also, um, we're with the Healthy Temple as well, right? There's dietary laws. Let me ask you a question, sis. Do you eat pork? Okay, well, the law, well here's, the, here's how bad they are in that crafty council. They stick pork juice inside marshmallows. They stick pork in, if you go, in gummy bears. If you go to this, exactly, so you have to get the right ones. You ever heard somebody say, oh, that's kosher? Okay, kosher means that there's no pork in it, and it, it, it falls in line with the laws. But that's how that crafty council is. They're getting us to break commandments when we don't even know we're breaking them. The other day, I went to get some hot links, right? I wanted beef hot links because I don't eat pork. None of the family does. So we go to get the beef hot links, and we grab them, and I read the ingredients. It's all beef, but the casing is pork. Yeah, so they're false advertising, they're lying, and they're tricking us. So you got to get with a body. Sister, yeah, I know about that, so that's why I'm sticking to only like shrimp and fish and everything promotion. Sister, can I, can I leave you? We can't even eat shrimp, sis. Those are bottom feeders. Oh, no, no, what's going to happen is this is going to outline it, and if you love him and fear him and want his protection in the day of evil, then you'll... And listen, we all used to tear up them prongs. We all used to be smacking our lips on some skirt, right? We hit that skirt like, hey, Mexicanos, chicharon, chicharones, carnitas, all that stuff. And then, but I'll tell you what, you know the body wants health, right? This is how crazy it is. The Levitical law that Moses gave, Moses wasn't a scuba diver. He didn't know that the uh, lobsters were eating the bottom feeders. He didn't know that. So when he wrote that law, that came straight from who? So I used to love catfish nuggets with hot sauce, right? I'm not gonna lie. That was one of my favorite things with some french fries. But then when I heard that that bottom feeder had no scales, and the Bible says you can only eat fish with fins and scales. So, so you can still eat fish, sis, but you're going to get with this body, we're going to help you, we'll learn together. Is that fair? Yeah, I, I try to cut down last year, like all fast foods, because like every time you put unhealthy food, your body continues to crave right. it. So oh. lately, I've been eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. Trying to oh. do my body to crave that, all that healthy stuff. You know what? We all fight now, fight, right, kid? Yeah. Sister, do you mind if I leave you or something before you go? Okay, I want you to listen very carefully, okay? Bring it out. Wait, wait, wait stop, stop. Look, all those men standing up here are representing the Most High. We're considered to be priests. So, when you go to the Christian church, or you go to worship, whatever, other than the Hebrew Israelite men who are priests standing up here, listen to this very carefully. Read. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 2, and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Priest's lips should what? Should keep knowledge. One more time. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. Seek the what? And they should seek the law at his mouth. For Read. he... Is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Messenger of who? 
the Lord of hosts. Look, so when you come before men who are priests, and they bringing out some, like, I think this is this, or they telling you anything about church funding or speakers, and the law never come out of their lips, that's, they're in grave right. error. They're right. in grave error. Somebody give me, uh, give me uh, Leviticus chapter 20 and start huh. from the top. Huh. So, look. You, if you come before people and they tell you all kinds of other crafty things and they're not bringing out the law, grave error. You shouldn't be listening to them. A priest's lips should keep knowledge and you should seek the law at his lips for he is a messenger of the Most High. We're messengers for the Most High because we're walking in, in the truth and we're right. doing exactly what, what he, he told us to do. Right. Did somebody got uh, Leviticus 20? Yeah, King has it right here. But before he brings it, I wanted to show you. You saw how you were asking questions. Well, King heard that you were asking questions questions went right to that precept that said a priest lips to keep knowledge because that's where we get our answers this is the book of leviticus chapter 20 starting Stop. at verse one Stop. so these this is the things that we should be meditating on and reading every single day read and the lord spake unto moses saying again thou shalt say to the children of israel who Thou shalt say to the children of Israel, Read. Whoever he be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel, that giveth any of his seed unto Molech, he shall surely be put to death. So in them days, the children of Israel were sacrificing their children to a, a, a idol, to uh, which the, the heathen nations called uh, Molech, which is just an idol. It has no power. Read. He shall surely be put to death. Shall he be what? Surely be put to death. Read. The people of the land shall stone him with stone. Read. And I will set my face against that man. Read. And will cut him off from among his people, because he hath given of his seed unto Molech, to defile my sanctuary, and to profane my holy name. We were sacrificing our children at that time. Read. Right. And if the people of the land do any ways hide their eyes from the man, when he giveth of his seed unto Molech, and kill him not, then I will set my face against that man. And that goes, that, look, that goes with anything. Sometimes we see our brothers and sisters sin, and then we just turn our, turn our backs to it like we didn't right. see it. We got to call them on that thing, read. Then I will set my face against that man, read. and against his family. Against who? And against his family. Read. And will cut him to commit for them with Molech from Keep among going. their people. Well, Keep going. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits, and after wizards to go whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul. So look, these are the things that we supposed to be reading every day. Because a lot of this stuff when you read from Leviticus, and the laws and statutes and commandments that Yahweh has given us, we don't even know what they are. Why? Because we don't read. Right. Read. And will cut him off from among his people. Read. Sanctify yourselves, therefore. Sanctify yourselves. And be ye holy. Be ye holy. Separate. Set apart. Read. For I am the Lord your God. Read. And ye shall keep my statutes and do them. I am the Lord which sanctify you. Give her a couple of uh, the, the laws. This is Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine, though he divided the roof and be fallen footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. So the scriptures is telling you the criteria that needs to be met. So the fact that you recognize how your body responds to different foods, God knows that because he made your body. He programmed it. Go ahead, King. Uh, this is verse 9. These shall you eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, in the rivers, them shall you eat. So right there is our direction. So let's say you and me are going in the store and we're going to buy a bunch of food for our family, right? So this fish has fins and scales. Check. Good to go. Bam. Cod, right? Some cod. This fish is catfish. No, no scales. Bottom feeder. Can't eat it. So when we study this and meditate, like the king said, we start to learn how to rightfully divide the word. Can somebody give me rightfully divide the word of God? Go ahead, King. Verse 11. They shall be an abomination unto you. Abomination unto you. You got a question? Yeah. All right, so what about tilapia? 
good because I know that, you know, our personnel, that when the fish bleeds and stuff, like, you know, we become unclean. And if we eat tilapia, one that, and we eat that tilapia, and no other type of Then let me ask you a question. Does tilapia have fins and scales? <laughs> it does. Yeah, that's why we be tearing it up. <laughs> Well, he does. He's not concerned with that regarding us. So here's a, here's a good thing. <laughs> Some people try to add to the Bible, right, y'all? And they try to they try to make keeping the commandments a hard thing. But the commandments are not what, King? Grievous. They're not what? Grievous. They're actually advantageous and beneficial for us because they're from the Creator. So some of the things we might consider not good, like there's people out here that might say, hey, you can't drink some wine. Christ drank wine. You know what I'm saying? So we got to make sure we rightfully divide the word. Hold that up. Who has rightfully divide the word? All right, come on. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 15. Study to show thyself approved. You heard that? Study. So, so wait a minute. We can't just read it. We have to study. Okay, one more time from the top. Study to show thyself approved. Now, I'm sorry, I'm going to take you. We're going to go slow with this because, you know what? You're what we play for. We pray. No, I ain't gonna lie to you. We can come out here and won't net near nobody want to hear nothing. And here you are eating everything that we put on the plate. All praises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And angels rejoice, as the scripture says. So he's gonna take it for the jump and we're gonna go slow. This is the book of 2 Timothy, verse, chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show thyself approved unto God. Unto who? Are? Unto God. Okay, it doesn't say study to show thyself approved unto your wife, unto your husband, unto your pastor, unto your homeboy. It says unto who? And then he said a priest's lips should keep knowledge. So where do we get it? Tom. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. See, we don't need to be ashamed if we're doing what it says. Now, if we're not doing what it says, and you were so beautiful to say that earlier, well, they need to teach them. Right. So the, the Lord has winked at our ignorance because he's the one who put us in captivity. And it still was our fault, but he still knows what we're going through. But now he's bringing us back saying, study, show yourself approved, so you're not ashamed. Yeah, no, that's it. Oh, that's hey, somebody give me here the word and do all the word. Go ahead, dude. Hey, uh, sister, let me show you something that you're doing for the most high that's beautiful and you probably don't even know it. Um, you, you're wearing a dress right now, right? Uh, uh, it's something like that. Uh, right? It's a hybrid. <laughs> close, close enough. Let me, let me show you something in the scripture. Bring it out. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Shall not what? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Stop. So Stop. you can't be a butch? You can't if I, wear... <laughs> if I put on a dress, a mini skirt, I, you know, that's going to... Well, these days, I don't know. Because, that, you know, you got men out Tyler there, they putting on dresses and Tyler stuff. Pen. And, and they look at just like women out here. And, and that's abomination to the most high. Bring that from the top one more time. No woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Read. So all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Go from the top. No woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Stop. Neither should I put a dress on or a woman's garment. A blouse. Read that from the top one more time. And I'll leave it at that. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination. Are what? Are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Israel, what is an abomination? It's something the Most High detests and can't stand. That's an abomination. That's something that the Most High did not okay, ordain, or even allow more. Because death is coming to everybody who's breaking these commandments. Come on. It's a beautiful thing for a woman to wear a dress. Hey, all praises. All praises. Yeah. Hallelujah. We keep the confusion down. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, y'all. Well, this
and Israel says hallelujah, that means that's the highest praise to our father. And we praise him for today. We got a precept for you right here. Kind. So uh, we were talking about knowledge almost. We were talking about knowledge. And um, this is the book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. It says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. You see, the Most High is clear, so that way we're not confused. Matter of fact, he's so clear that if you want to step into this priesthood, you have to put on priestly garments. And he talks to the children of Israel. He wants to identify us. Like, for instance, let's say you're driving around and you see some brothers with these fringes on the end. Who wants to get Numbers 1538 so the sister can see why we're all wearing fringes? That's my son right there. That's my brother right there. This is my brother right here. That's my brother right there. Brother, brother, wives, sisters, all of us have fringes on. Why, why would we have these things on? You want to find out? Since you're going on this ride, we might as well take it there, right? That's right. All right. All right, let's bring it out. This is Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Speaking to the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the border of their garments throughout their generations. Hold it there. Throughout their what, King? Throughout their generation. So generations continue, right? Okay. Have you ever seen Native Americans in fringes? Yeah, the Native Americans wear fringes on their garments. If you if you look at it, you know what, matter of fact, we should have some pictures out here, but we don't. All those books right there will show you the indigenous Americans. You ever seen a Mexicano Mexican with a poncho and on the bottom got little strings? That's fringes. Okay, so the Most High God has said bid to the children of Israel. He didn't say bid to the Chinese man over there, this man. Not to say that there's not Israelites scattered across the four quarters. The, the scriptures say that. But... His chosen people are being, there you go, outstanding king. Get a picture of that, son. Priest, you gonna come hit the street, her? Okay, come on. All right, well, I'm gonna finish this numbers out then if you wanna come slide in. All right, so, so I want you to see this because remember we're supposed to do like you said, right? All right, so he says, he says this. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Now you see that. So we're doing everything he says down to the T. All right, go ahead. But it shall be unto you for a friend, that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. Isn't that something? If this book is talking about commandments, now he's saying even the garments you wear reflect that you remember my commandments. So how serious do you think he is about us keeping his commandments? To the point where you're wearing clothes that remind you to keep the commandments, right? All right. Oh. Go ahead. Uh, lucky. And do them. And what? And, and do, do them. them. And isn't that what this sister said earlier? She said, we're not just going to hear it. We got to do this thing. Oh. Right? A lot of people probably don't want to read the Bible because that's what they know. Yep. They're like, oh, well, I don't want to read it because once they know that exactly. knowledge, they can't take the book exactly. that knowledge. They're like, damn, I should have oh. never read that book. You, you know what that's <laughs> called? That's called wisdom. That's right. that you rec You're not hiding behind it. You're saying that's what it is because once you see that, then you can say, Father, I need some help. Because let me explain to you. Every one of us here, we heard a thing or two would probably stutter step before we made it happen. Right? Go ahead, King. And do them, and that you seek not after your own heart. Now, see, everything's dealing with the heart of a man and a woman, because in that thing is going to decide which way you're going to go. The heart is desperately wicked. Who could know it? So God is saying, listen, you got to die to yourself, and you got to come to me. Christ, before he hit that cross, he said, you know, if there's any way this cup could pass from me, and I don't have to hit that cross. Okay, can we do that? Nevertheless, thy will be done. Right? Oh, God. And we all died and now the spirit lives within us. And now we leave. Say, some, say that one more time for the camera. We all died and now the spirit lives within all of us. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Go ahead, King. And that you seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye use to go at whoring. So he knows our story, right? We ain't hiding nothing, okay? We can't, listen, you be butt naked in the shower, he sees what you're doing, right? There ain't no, you can't run from him. King David says, I go here, I go there, and there you are. 
Look at this. Look at this. Y'all see this, sis? Quick proof to that. This is Acts 17, and 30. Acts 17 and 30. Um, this is Acts 17 and 30. In the times of this ignorance, God winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Outstanding. Repent. So so there's a space to repent. Go ahead, King. Uh, sister, uh, do you know who you are according to the scriptures? Bring that up. What is it? Are you an Israelite or are you a heathen? That's what she's learning today, King. Okay, so you're... No, you're, you're, yeah, definitely, you're, be not, you're, you're definitely not a heathen, and if you are, there's a problem. Right. You are, according to scripture, you are an Israelite. Okay. Hey. Uh, look, so now, if you if you know that you're Israelite, there, there's a requirement. Let's bring that out. Deuteronomy chapter 10, and verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord require of thee? But to fear the Lord. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? Stop. Israel. You're Israel. We're all up here, Israel. And there's probably behind us a lot of Israelites. And don't even know it because they don't consider. Right? So bring that out. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? There's a requirement. But to fear the Lord thy God to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good for what? for thy good one more time which I command thee this day for thy good for your good for our good so you're an Israelite and there's a requirement Hey, in the Bible also say don't go back and forth with your brother and sister about the Lord. So that I'm going to stop right there. We're going to bring it out the scripture. I want to see people live, so that's what we're versus us. Bring it out, bring it out. Wicked. You know what I mean with that shit. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. We're going to be patient because you can win them over. They're in darkness right now. We're supposed to be teaching no men. Right. Well, we show her the precept, right? Show her the precept. Just read it anyway. You don't want it. Yeah, man, I ain't dealing with all that. I ain't sure I ain't sure. You don't want to, you don't want to. Well, get our blood off our hands, Lonnie. Read it next time. You know, I don't want to hear it. Once we're going to talk to Judah. Got that. We're going to give uh, the Mike Tarvella of the Lord. Right, but the word will still cut her ass off. You, you ready, Yap? Are you ready, Yap? You ready, King? You want to hear? Oh, no. Let me go ahead and get Psalm 33 and 4. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. God gave so make no mistakes is that you are here. You you wanna you wanna know who you are, you wanna learn the truth. And, that, and that's what we just try to plug there today. We have nothing against them over there. In fact, everything will work hand in hand if they're not only they knew about the Sabbath day that they shouldn't be working today. But if people like us all came together all of our days when we were supposed to work and trust in each other. Right! Like twisting into this word, which is the truth, we can get a lot of comfort. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh. Yeah. Sister, come deal with us over here. Come deal with us. Come hear the words of the Lord. Yeah, that's going on all around. <laughs> come hear the words of the Lord. He's building with them right now. But, but sister, let me see that flyer you have right there because I want to make sure that you have a contact on there. Okay, so subscribe the Tabernacles of Zion at YouTube. So when you go to that, you can leave a comment and we can, you know, he can he can uh, make sure we stay in touch. That way we can help. Yeah, con. Yeah. She's going to leave comments on there so you can stay in touch with her. 
said we have to pack it up. Oh, we're going to keep teaching, man. We're going to yeah. keep bringing this word out. Right. First of all, we're going to give all praises to Abba Nawa, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yomashiach, Yahweh, Shai. Got a bunch of strong uh, brothers out here teaching this word, man. Y'all heard some powerful speakers out here. We're going to bring this word out, exhort the word of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. And if you don't like it, so what? Okay? If you do like it, all praises to you. Okay? This ain't for everybody. Oh. It's for the 12 tribes of Israel. The Lord hears his sheep. Okay? This is, uh, bring out Ezekiel 4 and 9. Hold on, let me ask you. You can't just come somewhere and set up without having approval of the person who. We have approval of God, bro. No, yeah. it's not a public. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. Brother. Hey, brother, brother. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. You walking over here, coming up on me, and you don't even address one of us. Right. Address one of us. Well, it didn't sound like it. You, you loud enough. You're talking to everybody. Address one person. What's, what's that, bro? He's trying to tell us to leave. Yeah, that's yeah. foolishness. Now no, let him speak. Speak, brother. Speak. What you were saying? Your brother came over here and, and I don't know what you said or something about us leaving or something. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Are we just preaching the Bible, brother? We don't offend nobody. That's okay. okay. And, and that, that's it. I understand. Uh, can, can we get 20, 30 more minutes to no, get sir. out of here? No, 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 no. So, so, why? What law are we breaking? So, so, so here it is. All right. Go ahead, bro. Bring it out. We, we, we do the African market. And this is the brother who runs the whole show. Right. And anybody that's out here got to pay for it. Got to pay for a spot to actually see whatever that you're going to see. See whatever that you're going to see. So, so let me ask you one question then. All right. So if we were to if we were to pay for it, you. No, you gotta come to me and then no, no. I understand that. I understand that. I understand that. But I'm saying, if we were to pay for it, then you would allow God's word to come out for His people. Is what you're saying? No, I wouldn't allow you because see, you would have came to me and had to get an application first. Right, right, right. And then once you gave me an application, right. you said, "Oh, what we want to do is project out our belief system." Well, no, we're reading from thus said the Bible. No, that's so, okay. I don't believe in all that. Ooh, right. that's you, so so I don't believe in all that. Ooh, right. that's you, so I don't believe in all that. Ooh, like, that's so so oh, there we go. Now we just got to the bottom of it. Wait, 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 that's why you're angry? Yeah. yeah. Man, no, hold tight. I'm on it. Somebody got Proverbs 21 16. There's no debate. You're a demon. Yeah, yeah. I knew you was a demon from the beginning. Proverbs 21. Yeah, I knew you were a demon. Hold tight. Mike, Mike, Mike. Let the brother speak. This brother is showing respect. Let him speak. Let him speak. Let this brother show respect. Go ahead, bro. Listen, bro. You can't. Listen. We got it. Listen. I own the Lord. Listen. Listen, you guys, no, hold it, hold it, hold it. Listen, we got to respect decency and order. So he, this brother right here is on talking the sidewalk, to us. I mean, on the, on the, on the black top? I, yeah. I can't, brother. I can't let you brothers do it. This is the brother that, that runs the show, and the brother who owns the building is not going to allow it. Well, then we can go on the sidewalk on the street that y'all have no... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's totally fine. Right, right. Yeah, that's but totally you, But you do understand yeah. the evilness that my brother just said is happening here. We're bringing the word out for our people who are oppressed, and right? So hold tight. And, and he don't care nothing about uh, that. So Hold tight. That's totally fine. Right. All right. But on the property, you can't do it. You dig know what I'm saying? Right. But on the on the sidewalk, it is what it is. You say whatever you want to say. Okay, brother. So, brother. He don't own the whole parking so, lot. Hold on though. one second. Hold on. Okay. Hey, right. that that's fair. Okay. That's fair. So we're gonna do that. It because that's what that's I don't have no feeling in my feet, so I was there. Be careful, sir. Okay, this is like obviously you have to have a contract to sign it with. In order for him to do this right, okay, he has to do a contract. Okay, when you do the contract, all you do is you call him up, you ask him what's the protocol for doing this, okay? 
when you find out what the protocol is, I will talk to the owner, who is Mr. Donaldson. I will talk to the owner. There is a protocol for this venue, right. okay? And it's like you can't just come out and set up and, 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 and you, you understand what I'm saying? Well, well, we actually can, but we understand that this venue right here has a different approach because we do do this all the time. But the fact that they don't like it is why they're saying don't do it. Because we're not we're not causing any problems. There was, there was a sister right here receiving the word of God, and we were all receiving the word of God. And because they had a problem with it, yeah. Well, that's because sometimes. Right. Being that we're trying to wake up people up, the demonic possession got to come out automatically. I mean, because that's what y'all a bunch of demons, man. And y'all love the white man. Y'all love y'all oppressor, man. Yeah, it's what's going on. We would expect the white man to do this, but not our own people. If that is a white man, would you done that? Exactly, man. Exactly. You be cool. You be cool. You be humble. They don't want to grab the mic like that, man. That's disrespectful. No, you can't do that. That's straight violation. So you put on the show? Nah, that's violation. No, that's straight disrespect. Nah, but that's disrespect. minutes. Yeah, for sure. Ten minutes to move. That's it. No, that's all right. No, you showed it your authority, and we're gonna do what we gotta do. We'll set up somewhere. That's it. Right. And we appreciate you even listening. You snatching out mics like nah, nah, you right there. Yeah, I know, I know. Demons, man. Now that's what it is, and we know it. So, so this is the deal. Nothing can stop the word of God coming out. We're just gonna put it in another spot. He don't own. He, he don't own McDonald's. Do we? Do they own McDonald's parking lot? Jeremiah three and fourteen. Mm -hmm. they, they're giving us ten minutes. Return, O backsliding children, says Yahweh. For I am married to you. I will take you, one from city and two from a family, and bring you to Zion. What the Lord is talking about here, man. Well, they'll probably say no, too, right here, because nobody wants to, to hear our word. Okay? The brother's asking us to leave. All we're doing is bringing out the word of how about you and our shot. Okay? This is all we're doing. Now, we get this type of uh, uh, rejection I'm sorry from the that. white man, but now we get it from our own people. Okay? You, 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 you hate to see brothers woke. You want to see brothers in derision. You right, want to right. see brothers with right. that Christian philosophy. Y'all got all this Egyptology and shit around here, but you don't want to reference okay, well, we'll the Lord, the God of Israel. You. you got all this Thank African you, stuff set up, all these damn Hamites who aren't your God. Okay? The, the old Hamites you know, are getting to the congregation of heaven. Okay? None of them. Okay? So it's going to be the God. It's going to be the, 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 the men of the Lord, okay? So we come out here and we're casting out strongholds, okay? We're casting them away. Now, you can go get somebody and want to remove us, but we're going to stand strong and firm for your hour while your hour shine, man. Right? Don't nobody up here fear nobody but the Lord, because the Lord, when you fear the Lord first, that's when you get uh, uh, understanding. Uh, Obviously, this so-called black man and the other so-called black man. Oh, this place is turned no up today. It is man. turned okay. up. Turned up. So, walk the successive journey. You you are the true gospel. Just because his skin is lighter than yours, the anointing that's progressed in your system, in your spirit. The dreams that you're getting is not what he gets. So it's easy for him to speak with it on me. Because I'm a threat. Um, the Garakutu Shukuwa, the Alaba Sukuwa, to him, Ukiki Adanaba Sowa. So that's why the love, um, the Alaba Sia, the authority, um, the Shukuwa, it was easy for you to embrace God. This is wild. Our people are in a dark, which, uh, obscurity, a darkness, but you know, pretty much. Uh, you call this 
Black Wall Street up here. You know what happened to Wall Street, Black Wall Street, in Oklahoma? Huh? Things are happening in Arkansas. 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 Huh? And the Lord said to him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of the ruler, who set a mark upon their foreheads of the men, their thoughts, and their thoughts, for all the abominations that be done in the midst of us. What we do, 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 Right. So we are the men that are crying and sighing for the Lord, man. For all the abominations of this wicked place, Babylon. They're gonna, okay? I'm going to put it in play right now. You got brothers like MLK, Dad, Malcolm, Dad, Marcus Garvey, Dad. Okay? Do we peak news? Dad, 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 Come, come, I'm from breaking our people up. This is to be sitting here for them at the center at hours. Okay? We didn't come out. Do this come out? We truly mean them because he dwells in the presence of Israel.